Welcome everyone to our free webinar session presented by VersaPay and sponsored by Sabre Limited. I'm excited to introduce today's topic, which is how VersaPay can transform your accounts receivable department. I'll take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Donna Simonovic, the marketing manager here at Sabre Limited, and our expert presenters today are Stacey Dosey, regional partner manager, and Riley Buchanan, sales executive at VersaPay. Sabre Limited is located in Cambridge, Ontario, and is an expert in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central ERP implementation and training for the manufacturing industry. VersaPay are leaders in collaborative accounts receivable that transform AR departments to drive efficiency and cash flow, making billing and payments easier for buyers and sellers. We estimate that today's web webinar will take about 30 minutes of your time. All of our webinars are recorded and loaded to YouTube. So be sure to go to our Sabre Limited YouTube channel to check out more videos and subscribe to our channel so that you receive the notifications when new content is added, or you can click in the chat and find the direct link to subscribe. To ensure the best quality, everyone will be on listen only mode, but if you do have any questions or comments, go ahead and submit those by clicking on the chat icon and then typing your questions in the pop-up chat pane and we'll answer your question at the end of the session. So now I'd like to hand it over to Stacy and Riley to begin our webinar. Wonderful, thank you, Donna, and thank you, Sabre Limited, for having us today. And thank you all for attending. We appreciate you taking the time. Again, we're gonna talk a little bit today about how VersaPay can transform your accounts receivable. Um, as Donna said, my name is Stacy Dozy. I'm a regional partner manager here at VersaPay, and with me I have Riley Buchanan, and he'll be doing some product um, overview in just a few minutes, and he's a sales executive that specializes in the product. So let's just take a minute to just talk a little bit about who VersaPay is. And the reason I want to talk about this um, is twofold. One, to give you a little bit of background information, but also because some of you may remember us or have heard of the name ChargeLogic in the Microsoft space. So ChargeLogic um, is an integrated payments product, which I'll talk about in a minute, but we did a year ago merge with VersaPay. So if you're familiar with the ChargeLogic name, we are now part of, part of VersaPay. So that may give you a little bit of um, recognition there. So as a company now, when the merger took place a year ago, we actually merged four companies together. It wasn't just those two, it was four. So we are now a combined 330 people over six offices across US and Canada. I'm not gonna read um, all of these details for you because I'm sure you can read them and, and certainly we can go into that. But we are really proud of some of the things that we've accomplished over the years, especially over this last year with the merger and, and our growth and the things that we're trying to do. Um, since this is going to be a Microsoft crowd, we wanted to point out that we are a Microsoft certified partner and we have been for almost 10 years now. So I want to talk really briefly about our product offering. Like I said, the charge logic piece is and was an integrated payments product. So what that does is it takes care of any electronic payments that you may want to do within the Microsoft platform. So that is pretty much the same as you may have remembered in the past. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, if you wanted to take um, credit cards or, or electronic payments via the platform, that would be your integrated payments piece. And there's some of the features and functionality here where you can do electronic invoice delivery. There is a, a, a light customer portal. It does support um, single sign-on options, things like that. We also now with the merger have this AR automation platform. And so that really is going to take you a step above and beyond the integrated payments. So you as a customer can look at where your business is going and what's gonna best suit your needs. If it's um, the fuller suite of products or if you wanna start at the payments piece, but you can see in the orange, there are some incremental pieces that come in with the AR automation platform. So although you can still do electronic invoice delivery, there's now tracking options where you can see if an invoice has been received, has it been viewed, things like that. There is a more robust customer portal where you can do um, payments of multiple invoices, you can log disputes, you can um, apply credits and a lot of different things like that. Additionally, now there would be a supplier portal for you, the end user, to look at your, uh, your excuse me, to look at your accounts receivable in a different way. What is your overall day's sales outstanding? What might that look like for an individual department or an individual customer? And then of course, there's the ability to do some automated collection notices and things like that. Um, one of the things, and actually I'm going to hand this over to Riley at this point because Riley's going to talk to you about kind of the gap that we talk about and then he's going to move into the product overview. So Riley? Yeah, thank you very much, Jason. Hey, great to, to meet with everyone today. Again, wanted to just highlight this slide as we can look ahead here to the product demonstration here in just a moment, just to put ourselves again in, in the mindset of kind of what we're looking to solve for when we think about the term AR automation. And here at Versway, we talk to many companies every day, just like yourselves. And oftentimes what we're hearing is that today, there's a number of different challenges that exist within the AR department. 
Now, again, typically we see, we see a process where, again, there's an AR team member, an AR team on the left-hand side, sending out invoices to their customer on the right-hand side, be that via an email, be that via print and mail, be that via some other method of delivery. But along the way to that invoice being delivered to the customer, there's potentially lots of things that can, can go wrong or challenges that can arise in that process. Maybe the invoice has been lost or it's gone to the wrong person. There needs to be some collaboration back and forth to ultimately make sure that it's in the right person's hands on your, on your customer's team. Maybe the customer has a question, a comment, or a dispute on the invoice that takes time to ultimately raise that, to resolve it, to, to come to clarity. Maybe the customer has requested some additional backup documentation, be that contract information, service information, whatever it may be, and they need that before they can ultimately go ahead and make a payment. Again, maybe it's the common excuse of, oh, the check is in the mail. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but ultimately there's a time delay for when ultimately you'll be able to receive that payment, capture it, and, and close it out in your business central system. And finally, again, we hear lots of challenges around if a customer sends in a payment, but it doesn't match the amount what was billed. There's a full process to go through and understand, was this a valid short payment? Or are they taking a deduction? Ultimately, collaboration with the customer and internally to, to get that resolved. And when we look at these challenges, when they aggregate together and combine, ultimately that creates, again, a lot of areas of uh, challenges within the AR team that we really want to look to help address. Now, when we think about this, we'll call it the AR gap that exists today and some of these challenges, rather than looking to automate a lot of these tasks in the back end, so help with automation after these problems have already occurred, our approach ultimately is looking right at the customer to start where we want to prioritize the customer experience, give them an experience that meets them where they're at today in today's digital, digital age, and ultimately allow them to self-serve, go online, to view their account, and interact with you, again, in a very hands-free digital way. And then with any of these challenges that do exist following that experience, we want to empower you as an AR team with automation tools to help uh, work smarter, not harder as it comes to, as it comes to AR. So again, wanted to highlight some of these challenges just to get you thinking about your current process today and potentially some areas that you're looking to streamline in advance of, of showing the product demonstration, which Stacey, I'm, I'm happy to do now. Yeah, so Riley, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing, and then you should be able to share. Sounds great. Let me pull up my screen here. Stacy, can you confirm? Can you see my screen okay with two windows on the left hand side zoomed out? I certainly can. Thank you. Amazing. So, team, this is our, again, the VersaPay AR automation platform. And what you're seeing here are two different experiences of the exact same platform. Now, on the top window here, if I zoom in, this is a internal AR and collections interface that would be available to you and your AR teams that is really aggregating all of your data, AR and customer data from Business Central in one central location. So again, as, as Stacy mentioned, we're a long time Microsoft partner, have a real time connector integration, where again, this data is populating in this platform for you as an AR team to, to take advantage of some automation tools and insights that we'll, we'll go through. And on the other side of the platform, this is the actual customer facing experience. So what will be a fully branded customer portal for your customers to be able to go online, to view their statement of account, to interact with you, and ultimately to make electronic payments. Now, we're gonna start on the customer experience. And in this demo environment, you can see I am acting as a customer in this case called Highwoods Properties, doing business with my supplier, who's ABC Generic Company. Now, in reality, this would be your logo, your colors, the platform can completely be customized and designed to, to match your business rules today. But we'll be acting as these two generic companies today for the purposes of, of the demo. Now, as a customer, again, I'm acting as Highwoods Properties. At my homepage here on the customer portal, I can see really my overall statement of account. Things like any open or overdue invoices that I have, any potential credits that are on file, things like my total balance outstanding. But before I'd ever get here as a customer, I'd be prompted to self-serve online through one of many different automated email notifications that the platform can send out. So again, with that integration with Business Central, the platform is ingesting AR and customer data and driving out automated email notifications, requesting customers to take action on things that, uh, that they need to. So in this example, you can see here I'm in a sample email inbox. I've received this email from ABC Generic Company, letting me know that an invoice has been issued. 
if I want, I can see a PDF summary of that, even that invoice right here within my email, email inbox. Or you can see here, I have a summary of this invoice down below with some information. And I can actually click this link right within the email that'll bring me directly online into the customer portal to then view a digital copy of that invoice. So again, really trying to make it easy and seamless for a customer to ultimately know what they owe, notify them in an automated way, and then very easily allow them to self-serve to come online to get a summary of, of what, they, what they owe in this invoice. Now, oftentimes what we hear from customers is uh, if their clients have questions or comments about an invoice, it can be a very manual or tedious process to ultimately keep track of those and ultimately get them resolved. So as you see here as a customer, if I scroll down on this invoice, I'd have the option right here to collaborate with your AR team in real time. So if I perhaps again had an inquiry, if I had a dispute on this invoice, I can very easily leave a comment here which would notify your AR team in real time as to which comma a customer left a comment and which invoice is in relation to. And as you see below, any interaction that takes place on this invoice is all tracked in a real time audit trail. So we date and timestamp items like when the invoice was published or even when the customer actually came online and viewed the invoice. And going forward, any comments made on this invoice along with any payments would live here on this audit trail for your customer's visibility and for your visibility. Moving along, if I'm a customer, I've reviewed this invoice, let's say I'm ready to go ahead and make a payment. You can see I can very easily click the pay now button here on the upper right. That will bring me right into my online shopping cart to be able to go ahead and transact. Now, again, as you can see in this demo environment, I'm a customer that already has a couple funding sources that are stored on file. Again, the platform can support bank-to-bank uh, -bank payments, be that EFT payments in Canada, ACH in the US, or credit cards as well. As a customer, I can very easily select my payment method and go ahead and initiate a payment, which again will notify your team right away that uh, this customer has paid the specific invoice and the customer will receive a receipt in, in real time. Now let's go back to one of the challenges that we were talking about earlier, where understand that sometimes customers are not always paying the full amount on an invoice, be that for, again, a, a discount deduction, maybe a short payment because of a dispute. You can see here that as a customer, if there was a scenario where I was going to make a short payment, if I wanted to go ahead and do so, you can see if I, I lower the amount here of this invoice, I'm prompted to give you as a team, uh, an AR team, a reason as to why I'm making a short payment, which could either be a, a custom drop down here from a pick list or the customer can enter free form text, which will again notify your team right away as to which customer made a short payment and which invoice is it in relation to. When we think about the customer's experience so far, very easily self-serving to come online, to view an invoice, and now to actually go ahead and transact with you and make a payment. What's great is that in the background, when a customer does make a payment, we're capturing all of this remittance data here, the amount that was paid against the specific invoice. And through our connection with Business Central, we're sending that data back automatically to support automated cash application within Business Central. So by driving and pushing customers and allowing them to go through this self-service experience, they're ultimately gonna be the ones that are taking care of the cash application process for you. At a very high level, that's the customer's experience and what they have access to do within the customer portal. I'm now gonna shift over to the AR collection side of the platform to show you what your AR teams will have access to in regards to different reporting metrics, as well as automation tools that they'd be able to, to take advantage of. So as you can see here, I've toggled over to the internal AR collection side, and you can see at a starting point, I'm uh, hit with an original dashboard view here of all of my AR outstanding. So I can see things like my total AR aging, where that breaks down over different time periods, I can see things like uh, my top offending customers, where their balances sit over different time periods as well. And this data can be sliced and diced based on how your customers are set up today in Business Central. So for example, if you have uh, different divisions or entities in Business Central, and you want to break out this dashboard based on, on different rules, we can absolutely support the ability to, to toggle different units on or off here to make sure that you're seeing the, the data that you're, you're meant to see. In addition, if you have team members that are responsible for specific customers or accounts from a collection standpoint or from a sales standpoint, we can toggle this view so that individuals that are in the platform are only seeing customers that they're responsible for. So example, if I'm a Tom Performer here, 
and I logged on to the platform, I would only see customers that I'm responsible for from a, a collections and support standpoint. Now, what's important to underscore here in the background of this platform and this interface that your teams will have access to is the platform is going to be automatically sending out a number of those different automated email notifications that we saw on the customer side of the platform. So if I toggle here to, to customer notifications, you can see that there's well over 100 different automated email notifications that are available for you as a team to enable to go out to customers to prompt them to self-serve online. That could be things like sending out a monthly statement on a specific day of the month. It could be things like sending out generic overdue balance reminders on a specific cadence, or the reminders could be invoice specific. So being proactive and reminding a customer before an invoice is due, or remind them on a certain frequency once their, their invoice is overdue. Now, again, to, to reiterate, these invoice or these notifications are all 100% automated. So there's no intervention for the team members to go in and click send. These are going out automatically in the background with those same links that we saw on the customer's experience to be able to self-serve and go online to, to the platform. With the intent being, ultimately, we want to empower your AR teams to be working smarter, not harder, and then really focus on areas of concern or areas that the platform has flagged that need some sort of human intervention. So if I toggle here to the customers tab, we can see that I have a list here of all my customers in this environment. I have 51. And as an AR team member, again, I'm really focused on items that the platform has flagged that need my attention while the automation is pushing out all of those reminders in the background. So you can see here, if I toggle on one of these tabs here, I can see one is called warnings. Warnings are really things, again, that the platform has, has flagged that need my attention. That could be things like customers that have email delivery issues, meaning that the email has bounced back. We need to work to find a new contact to reach out to, to make sure that they're getting our, our invoices correctly. Or it could be, again, customers who have open disputes, which we saw, again, on the, the customer-facing portal, how customers can very easily make comments and collaborate. Now you can see as an AR team member, I've brought my list of customers from 51, now down to three customers that have open disputes. And I can drill down and get more visibility on, on what they are. Now, again, we saw Highwood's properties, who was the customer we're interacting with on the, the customer facing side of the demo. So if we drill down here into their specific profile, you can see that we provision now a dashboard by customer. So specific to Highwood's properties, how are they doing as it pertains to, to outstanding AR? What's their total outstanding? How does that break down over different aging periods? Key metrics like what's their oldest invoice or their last payment? Really just a high level snapshot of this customer's health and, and where they stand. Now, if we scroll down, we can get some more information about this customer, elements like the context that we have on file, who we're reaching out to, or we can get granular and get a snapshot of all recent activity with this customer. So I can see here, the platform exposes an audit trail here per customer to showcase all interactions with this customer, both notifications they've received, as well as actions that they've taken on the customer portal, be that payments that they've made, comments that they've made, notifications that they've received. All of this is available here for your team to get a snapshot at any given time of what's going on with a specific customer. And like we saw how customers can collaborate on the customer portal, you as an AR team also have the ability to collaborate right within the platform. As you can see here, if I wanted to come online, I can make a comment here on this customer tab, which could either be an internal comment, so it would only be visible to my team members. For example, if I'm a manager coming online to, to check in with my team on what's going on with this customer, I can collaborate internally. Or you can collaborate externally with a customer and actually share comments back and forth with them, which in which case, again, they'll be notified via email as well as through the, the customer facing portal. The last thing I wanted to showcase on the platform for, for you, just as it pertains to the internal AR and collections experience, is just the invoices tab, where again, we're providing a list of all open invoices in the platform. You can filter to invoices again that maybe have warnings associated, so invoices in dispute. The key thing I want to draw your attention to that Stacy mentioned at the top of the call was that again, we're tracking the delivery status of every invoice, meaning was the email sent to the customer? Did they open it? or ultimately did they view the invoice, meaning that they came online and actually viewed it within the platform, just for that additional visibility from a collection standpoint. If a customer is overdue, having that additional insight and ammunition to go say, hey, you know what, 
uh, the customer actually has viewed the invoice. Maybe we have the wrong contact. Maybe we need to reach out to find, um, you know, some more some more information. So again, want to empower you as a team to have some additional insights and reporting as it pertains to, to invoice delivery. So again, I know there's probably lots more that I could cover on the demo, but in the interest of time and keeping it keeping it high level, Stacy, I think I'm going to pause there um, and pass it back to you. Awesome, thank you, Riley. Go ahead and share my screen again. And can you confirm that you can see my screen? Yes, you can. Awesome, thank you. So I just want to wrap up with some final thoughts. And and I know that um, Riley did a great job of kind of doing an overview. The intent here again is to give you guys kind of a general idea of the features and functionality within the platform, but there certainly is a lot more available to you to use. But one of the things that we want to talk about really is, you know, accounts receivable is one of the last, or we call it the final frontiers when it comes to automating people's systems. We've already seen people automate um, their accounts payable, their payroll, their sales tax. And so accounts receivable is one of the last places that we've seen automation. And some of the things that we're seeing as a result of that is just really some inefficiencies, a slowness of getting things done. And that's not only within the within individual team, but also slowness with the results in your business. So, you know, we're seeing 70% delay in payments for people who, have, who are now um, not quite, not, who are not automating in their systems today. And if you think about what's happened in the last year or two years now with, um, with COVID and, and what's going on in our society, you know, a lot of businesses have had to transform and change the way they do business because they no longer have the people in the office. No, people are no longer able to take checks and manually do those deposits and take them to the bank. And so people are really struggling to figure out how to, how to get efficiencies here, get payments in the door faster, get them applied quicker and easier, and obviously then um, move that into optimizing your own team. So our goals here were really to create a connected business payment system. So we wanted to really com com combine this whole environment for you so that we can automate your processes, have your customers be able to self-serve, allow some collaboration between your team and their team in, in a really light way, right? Because unfortunately, people have moved away from all the phone calls. You know, you don't wanna have to pick up an invoice and find the phone number and do I have time to call and wait on hold? So this is a really quick and easy way for teams to collaborate um, online and be and doing these portals. And then of course, for you to collect payments and get those in the door quicker and easier. Um, what we've seen within our own customer base, this is a result of some of our clients, some studies that we've done and how we're transforming our clients' AR departments. We've seen people that have spent 50% less time managing their accounts receivable, a 25% increase in speed of payment from their customers, a 30% decrease in past due invoices, and an 80% adoption rate among your customers. So our customers' customers. So when you're sending out those email notifications to your customers, we're finding really high adoption because there are no barriers to entry. They can click that link, they can make a payment, they can do some collaboration. So it's really quick and easy for them. So we're finding customers are adopting that, that, um, uh, that technology a lot quicker and easier than they maybe were in the past. So that's kind of what I wanted to wrap up with. I do want to leave you with our contact information. Again, my name is Stacy Riley, um, is really the subject matter expert here. So thank you, Riley. And thank you again, Sabre, for having us. And we're going to be here if you have any questions. Thanks, Stacy and Riley, for the great presentation today. So we're going to open up the floor now for some questions that came through the chat. Uh, so the first question is, with some of my team members still working remotely, how does a solution like this help? Yeah, thanks for, for um, sharing the questions, Donna, and great question for whoever asked that. I think Stacy made a comment just a few moments ago that I think really is the, the biggest win that we're seeing for customers today who still have team members that are remote. And that's ultimately that what we're hearing is that, again, for um, customers that are still making payments via old school methods, so checks that are being sent to the office, We've heard stories from our, our customers or prospective customers that they're having to send in team members into the office once a couple times a week to handle the deposits and the, the acceptance of those checks. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is again, empower customers to, to go digital, both with again, how they receive their information electronically, but then also how they make payments. So ultimately providing an easy alternative way to, again, what is a legacy payment method, which is a check to empower them again to, to pay electronically, be that with their, their bank account or a credit card along with, again, allowing for more collaboration from an internal AR standpoint. So you saw on the um, AR collection side of the platform, 
team members have readily available access into the health of customers to be able to track their comments very easily to be able to collaborate internally. So really looking to help streamline operations internally, all while again, helping to give customers an easier way to, to make payments. Oh, that's great. It kind of leads into the next question that came in, which is how does the system handle check payments? Yeah, it's it's a great question. And I think um, kind of two, two ways that we answer that. One of which is we're on a mission as a company to, again, drive digital transformation. So our goal ultimately is to transform any check payments that you're receiving today into ultimate digital checks or, or electronic payments. Um, and we have many different ways which we can help you do that through adoption campaigns and, and elements like that that Stacy mentioned with, with the 80% adoption. So again, our, our goal is digital. Now we understand that today that not, not all customers are made the same. Some may continue to, to issue either paper check payments or payments outside of a platform like this as they do business with you. So as of very recently, we've unveiled an additional module, some new technology that really focuses on cash application for payments that occur outside of the customer portal. So this tool can do things like ingest files from your lockbox with your bank if you're subscribing to that. It can do things like take a feed from a check scanner that's in your office with data and images. It can do things like ingest remittance documents that customers are sending to you via email today. It can take all of this data, analyze it, and really associate those payments, be that a check or be that a, a external bank to bank payment, and ultimately apply those payments against OpenAR in the platform. And there is a lot of intelligent AI and learning the platform has in place to be able to do that. So if that's something that, um, that you're interested in learning about more, I know we didn't have the chance to show it today. We're happy to set up some time to, to walk you through that as well. Oh, that's great. And we have one last question that came in. Are you able to control how customers can pay via credit card? Yeah, that's that's a great question. And I would say credit card has become a hotter topic over the past couple of years with customers, again, looking for more flexible ways to, to make payments. Credit card is, is one of them. So within the platform, again, as we saw, there is the option to present credit card as a payment method. But you as a, an AR team have complete control over how you want to offer credit card to customers. So it can be toggled on or off by customer. You can do things like put rules in place on when it can be accepted. So things like putting a dollar threshold on anything under X dollars can be paid with a credit card. Anything above that amount would have to be a bank to bank payment or limiting when it can be used. So for example, if you pay on due date or earlier, you can use a credit card or if you pay late, you'd have to use a bank account. Those are some types of rules that can be put in place with the platform to control how you, how you accept credit card. As well, we can do things like pass a, a surcharge or a convenience fee onto the customer. So to offset those, those credit card fees that are incurred with those transactions, the platform has functionality where you can, again, pass on those, those fees to, from a, to the customer if, if they're going to go ahead and use a credit card. Well, that's great. Thanks, Riley and Stacy. It looks like that's all the questions we have for today. Uh, if any other questions come up about how VersaPay can transform your accounts receivable department, or you would like a more one-on-one -on -one demo or pricing, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help. My contact information is on the screen and you can visit us at saberlimited.com for more information. I wanna thank everyone who attended and we hope you all have a great rest of the day. Thank you for watching our videos. Please follow our channel by clicking here to stay up to date with the latest content or click here for more great videos. Don't forget to visit our website at saberlimited.com. We look forward to seeing you next time.